I just upgraded a bunch of lights in my garage from old T12 bulbs to new retrofit LEDs. I'll show you the bulbs I used, how I did it, and whether it was worth it. In some places, it made a huge improvement, and in other places, it was pretty much a waste of time. And this is not a sponsored video. I bought these bulbs on Amazon with my own money. I'll put some affiliate links down below. There are tons of different brands of these bulbs, ranging from completely no-name companies to a lot of companies you've heard of before, like Philips. I went with these Hypericon bulbs. Uh, this is a pretty well-known company in uh, LED bulbs and fixtures. These are interesting because these are listed as ballast compatible, and they are compatible with a lot of ballasts, but not all of them, uh, as we'll talk about later, especially if you have older ballasts. These will probably not work with them. But if you do a little more digging, what you will find out is that you can use these with or without the ballast. And so in some of my fixtures, I think I will be doing a ballast bypass with these. So far, I have been pretty impressed with the build quality of these. Uh, this model has the clear lens. I actually think I would have preferred the frosted lens, but these clear lens ones were on sale. These have an aluminum heat sink on the back for dissipating the heat. This is kind of a minor thing, but I've also been really impressed with how they were packaged and shipped. They come in these four packs, and then uh, each bulb is also individually packaged in its own cardboard box. And when you open that up, there is a foam protector on the end, and also this little plastic cap, which keeps the pins from getting bent. So mine had zero damage from shipping because they are pretty well protected. In the package, you obviously get the bulbs, a little warranty information card, these stickers that you're supposed to put on the fixtures so people in the future know they have been modified, and you also get the instructions which show you how to wire these as ballast bypass. I'm not going to specifically show you how I wired mine because different types of these LED bulbs are wired in different ways, so you really need to follow the instructions that come with your bulbs. For a quick test, I'm going to put some of my new LED bulbs in one of these T12 fixtures so we can have a side-by-side -side comparison. I don't know how much it's going to show on camera, but these LED tubes on the right definitely are brighter than the old regular T12 bulbs on the left, but it's not a huge difference. I can also tell I wish I had gotten the tubes with the frosted covers. Uh, these exposed individual LEDs are pretty harsh if you accidentally look at the light. Now to take a look at efficiency, and to do that, I'm going to use this watt meter and this light above my head. I'm going to see how many watts the light uses before and after installing the LEDs. Here's before installing the LEDs, and this four foot T12 fixture is drawing 45 watts. After installing the LED bulbs, this fixture is drawing 34 watts. So not a huge difference, but you have to remember that I did not do a ballast bypass on this, so the ballast is still using some energy. Here is my first issue. I wanted to try the bulbs in one of these really old T12 fixtures. I'm guessing these use a magnetic ballast, and as you can see, the bulbs definitely are not working right. Next up, I'm going to tackle these four-foot fixtures by my garage doors, and these are really what made me do this project. These fixtures are getting so dim, they are not starting reliably. So what I'm going to do is uh, do a ballast bypass in this fixture right here, and we will see how bright it is compared to the others. All right, so I upgraded these two fixtures on the right. I bypassed the ballasts. Over here on the left are still the old T12 bulbs. I hope it shows up on camera, but there is a pretty significant difference. It is decently brighter over here on the right with the new bulbs. This is an area where I can really notice a difference. In this corner, it was always really dim. When I was working on the Beetle, I had to bring in a bunch of extra lights. But now with these new bulbs, it is much brighter. 
Overall, I'm really glad I did this project. On a lot of these fixtures, I'm now getting more light and it was actually cheaper. Uh, most of these needed new ballasts and I paid about $13 per fixture for my LED upgrade and it would have been significantly more than that for new ballasts and new bulbs. But on some of the newer hanging fixtures I upgraded, it really was not worth it. The new bulbs do not make much more light and it only saves 10 watts per fixture. And next time, I will make sure to get LED bulbs that have a frosted lens. I just don't like the way these ones look with the exposed LEDs. It causes too much glare. So what do you think? Was this upgrade worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.